and the top of the dady is all. Today I'm going to go through a procedure of bread making. A lot of people find that it's a strain, strenuous or time consuming process. This is a very basic recipe. It came from my Uncle Ted who had bakeries all over Australia, or at least northern New South Wales and, and in central Queensland um, for most of his life. So 50 years of baking, this is a simple bread. Let's, have, let's get into it. So, so to, not to make a lot of fuss, we'll make a big deal out of bread making. This is a very simple loaf. Okay, plain flour, and we want four coffee cups full of plain flour. And of course, if you don't want such a big loaf, this is one that um, I've put together for a 12 inch camp oven. If you don't want such a big loaf, loaf just half the volume. Okay, so plain flour. We want to that plain flour, I like me rock salt, so I want around about a half a tablespoon, if you like, of salt. So there we go, that goes in. Now I'm just going to show you with this packet sachet, this is a dry yeast. So with the dry yeast you can just tip that sachet in, it's pretty good for four cups, but if you have any a bigger container of it, you'll see that it's around about one level ta tablespoon of dry yeast. So that goes in and a little bit of sugar and the sugar will help so there's one two level tablespoons of raw sugar. Now that will help the yeast to activate and get up and running. Now, I like to use a big spoon, some people say use a knife, cut through the mix. I can still cut through the mix with a spoon and I've got a good grip there because the dough will get quite heavy. So I'll mix those dry ingredients through and I just want to add water and it will be just under two cups. So notice I'm using the same cup, so I'm trying to get those uh, same measurements. Now, what my Uncle Ted said to me when you're baking batches and when he, <laughs> being a baker, you can imagine the batches were huge. So he was using something like three pound of dry yeast. So that's a huge bowl full of flour. He said it's very important in that instant to get your um, flour and water to much the same temperature. You'll get really good results. I find that's just lukewarm. So the flour is going to be close on a day like today. So there's one cup of water and I'll just pour another half to get myself ready but it won't take much more than a cup and a half of water just to bring all that flour together. So I mix that through okay see it's taking that water up pretty quickly so about another half cup. And as you can see, that's starting to come together pretty good. I notice how I'm cutting through the mix as it comes together. It's starting to come away from the bowl. So that's all come together pretty good. Make sure that it's, that it's mixed thoroughly so that you don't get blobs of flour through your dough. Okay, so that seems to be coming together quite nice. Another little trick, I pull that to the side. Now you don't have to use a spray oil, but a bit of oil on your fingers or on a cloth. Just oil the edge of the bowl so that when you come to remove this, it will roll out of the bowl quite easily. Now if I give that around about an hour, it will come to, it will fill that bowl. While we're waiting for that yeast to do its thing, We'll just give that a cover with a cloth, okay, and at least leave it in a semi-warm place, not cold. So we want that yeast to activate, fill the bread with air, or fill the dough with air to make our bread. So step one is as simple as that. So just make sure that you get a good thorough mix. Um, nice warm water, not cold water, helps activate the yeast 
and you're going to get pretty good results. But we'll have a look at that in around about an hour. Okay, we're back. It's been about an hour to an hour and ten minutes, and we should be starting to get a nice rise in that dough. Okay, so that's puffed up nicely. If we give it a poke, notice how it starts to fall in. That means it's raised ready to knead. Okay, so it doesn't collapse like that. Give it a little bit longer. We'll dust the board. And we'll dust my hands. And that should tip out of there quite well. Okay. Grab that little bit that's stuck. That can go to the side now. Righto. So I dust that dough. And for one minute, I just need... I just need to knead the dough. So, fold and punch, fold and punch. I'm reckoning that's about enough. So in this heat, I'm starting to knock up already. Okay, I'll pull that in. And it's gonna go into the camp oven here. So if I take my spray or an oil, just oil that Oil that so we get a nice nice coating of oil there and as I needed that all of the under of the bread if we kind of tuck it in you'll get a nice smooth top and your folds are at the bottom drop that straight into the middle of the camp oven bang on the lid and if we give that around about another three quarters of an hour it will do a second rise and be ready to bake in that time, I'm going to head on over and get some coals organised. So as I, as I said on the radio, I'm going to use charcoal briquettes because they are uniform and consistent. You, it is good to get your heats right with the bread. You'll get a nice crust and a, and a pretty colour. So get your heats right with the bread. It usually only takes around about 20 to 25 minutes to cook and you should get pretty good results if you get that heat right. So we're gonna play with charcoal briquettes today, get familiar with those heats, and it won't take much to step it out into the fired coal. Okay, step three, we've left this sitting here, um, and have a look. The second rise, nice full oven, so it's come right up, see how it's filled the 12 inch camp oven nicely, and it's gonna go now onto the heat. Now I've put eight charcoal briquettes down. I'm using a hot shot here today. I like me hot shot. Okay, so eight under, and I'm gonna put 12 onto the lid. So there's 12 beads on the lid. That should give me a pretty good heat. And around about 20 minutes to half, an, or 20 to 25 minutes, we should have a nice golden brown bread. Oh man, smells like the bakery at a small country town out here. 20 minutes, 25 minutes, somewhere thereabouts. Let's have a look and just see how this bread has come up. So I'll take that heat off the lid. I'll just give that a quick spin. Make sure no ash gets in me. Tuck up. Righto, let's have a look. Oh! Nice golden brown on the top, looks pretty darn good. If we just take a skewer, oh, in it goes, pull it out. No dough, cooked beautiful, righto. Let's whip that off the heat and just turn it out. We should get a pretty good hot, hot. Oh, look at that. 